Seabound. It is of course the title for the newest Ninjago installment currently, and that's basically all there is to it. Well, on the surface at least. But there is actually a really cool fact about Seabound that was recently revealed by one of the main people behind Ninjago, that of course being Tommy Andreasen himself. So this all started on Twitter when a fan asked Tommy Andreasen this. I have a question about Seabound's name thing. Was Seabound the original name of the season? And if it wasn't, what was? And then Tommy Andreasen himself actually responded with, it was originally called The Abyss. But then the idea came along that the title would tell what happens to Nia at the very end. Subtle and very clever, in my opinion. And there we have it, that is straight up our answer. Seabound was not really the original name for Season 14, but it was actually originally planned and intended to be called The Abyss. Now, first of all, let me just say that I'm so happy they decided to actually go through and call it Seabound. It matches up and serves as a really nice parallel to, of course, Season 6 Skybound, with that being a J-focused season and this being a Nia-focused season. You know, it's a really clever kind of thing that they've managed to do there. And the Abyss just doesn't really have that ring to it in general and also it just wouldn't be as good as Seabound was as a title and yeah the abyss is just a lot more inferior i'd say and i'm just not really a big fan of it the name is just not really catchy if that's the right word for it here it just doesn't really catch on too well and it just sounds kind of boring Oh, and also, for anyone that doesn't actually know the real definition of abyss, this is basically the Google definition, a deep or seemingly bottomless chasm. And yeah, that's basically all you're going to need to know about this. So overall, I'm really, really glad that they decided to actually change this to Seabound. And also, it does actually make sense that Seabound wasn't the original uh, actual name for the season, because if you guys remember, we got these really old leaks before Seabound even came out. And it was in German, I believe, I could be wrong about that. And it was translating to something kind of different, and we had a different name there, which was probably Austin Translation. And it was nothing to do with Seabound, from what I can recall. So it does kind of make sense. Maybe that was the original title there, and then they changed it to Seabound after, after they saw that fans were catching on and calling it that. And they decided it was really clever, so they just went along with that. That's definitely a big possibility for what actually happened here and how it all played out. But yeah, good stuff. I'm really glad we got confirmation on this. Really, really glad that they went with Seabound as the title. Of course, though, with all of this being said, though, guys, I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please do feel free to drop your thoughts down below on all of this in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this. As usual, if you did enjoy today's video, please do feel free to drop a like on it. If you are new to the channel and are interested in seeing a lot of content similar to this, then please do also consider subscribing to the channel. Put that notification bell turned on, and with all of this being said, I will see you all in my next video coming out very, very soon. Goodbye.